Hi guys, I have spent most of my summer this year inside the shed you see here behind me with Athena, my 38 foot DIY project sailboat. I think it's safe to say that over the course of the last four months, I've made some pretty decent progress. I started out by removing the old teak deck that was worn almost paper thin and only barely attached to the deck. Then I removed an almost endless amount of wet rotten plywood and soaking wet foam core that had left the deck a little on the soft side. Then finally about a month ago we started laying up glass on the deck. During the summer I've also gotten 93% of the hull dried out with the help of my DIY hotback type setup as a part of an osmosis treatment. And that means I can get an early start next summer on fairing the hull and getting it all sealed up before applying copper coat. All in all, a pretty spiffy summer if I do say so myself. But sadly, winter is just around the corner. And that means I only have maybe a few more weeks where it's warm enough for me to work on the exterior of the boat. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. A few days ago, that was Monday afternoon, the yard started moving Athena out of the shed. What was supposed to have been a simple 15 minute job turned out to be anything but when the lift the yard used to move the boat got stuck. Those of you who have been following along here on my channel know that I'm a pretty upbeat and positive kind of guy, but I'm not afraid to admit Monday kinda sucked. There is something slightly terrifying about moving your boat, especially when stuff like this happens. Well, let's just say Monday earned more than one O oh, fiddlesticks. After what seemed like hours and hours of digging and trial and error, Athena finally got underway. And here, behind this door, is Athena's new temporary home. Fair warning, it is nowhere near as nice in here as the other shed. It's pretty wet in here. It's also pretty dark, so it's not great for shooting video. But at least the new laminate on Athena's deck is out of the sun and it's harmful ultraviolet light. Like I said, there's not a lot of light in here and it is also rather damp. As soon as the yard's workshop becomes available, which is just right next to this building, Athena and I are gonna move in there and we're gonna stay in there for an entire month. During that month, I hope to be able to lay up the last of the glass, take care of most of the fairing and get some primer on the deck. That is a ridiculous amount of work. Just alone laying up the last bit of the glass on the deck is gonna be way over a hundred hours of work. And the only reason I think it's just barely possible that I might be able to pull this off is because of my awesome friends that aren't afraid to lend a hand. I can't really do anything but just cross my fingers, hope for the best and put in as many hours as I possibly can. But here she is the other woman in my life, my fair Athena. I'm really glad I got the new core all sealed up before moving out of the nice shed because there are a few holes in the roof just above Athena. It's a few hours later. It stopped raining and the skies have cleared up, at least for a little bit. That in combination with the fact that I've found the switch for the overhead lights means it should be a little bit easier to shoot video now. I've spent that time setting up this little area. I've got most of the stuff we'll need this weekend right here on this table. We've got plenty of epoxy, some fin rollers, acetone, plenty of gloves some buckets and other stuff. The observant amongst you might have noticed the white sheets of styrofoam over by the epoxy. In my last video, I mentioned some of the things that are not so great about working with epoxy at low temperatures. And those are mainly caused by the fact that this stuff gets pretty thick when it's cold. So I figured this weekend it would be worth it to build a little insulated box that we could use to heat the epoxy up in. And that is what the styrofoam is for. 
I need a heat source inside of the box. Now I could use anything, like for instance, an old fashioned light bulb, but I've got this awesome silicon heater mat from my DIY hotback type setup and the temperature controller to go along with it. I've placed the temperature sensor in between the silicon mat and the epoxy, just to make sure that the epoxy doesn't get too hot. I think I've already set this thing at around 25 degrees Celsius, but let's just check. It is at 25 degrees Celsius, which should be fine. This box is gonna be ghetto as all heck, but that's okay. It doesn't really need to last more than a few weeks. Of course, a project like this wouldn't be complete without copious amounts of off-brand duct tape. Ta-da! This weekend, the epoxy should be nice and toasty. The only other thing I need to take care of before I'm ready for this weekend is to get a tarp draped over the boat, just in case it starts raining. With all those holes in the roof, I don't want any leaks to drip on the new laminate before it's fully cured. Ta-da! Now, is that tarp perfect? Nope, not even close and it looks like a huge mess. But once I stretch it out fully, water should be able to drain without hitting the deck. But it's getting really late and I need to head back to Obelix and take Jukul for a walk. Hi guys, it's Friday afternoon and in about half an hour, Camila, Sebastian and possibly Thomas are gonna show up and help me take care of some of the prep work for this weekend. Just in case you're curious, there's actually some pretty cool company for Athena in here. There are three very good looking boats. If you don't agree that this boat is beautiful, I think you might be dead on the inside. The only type I recognize is this one. It's a Vineyard 50, but my favorite is actually this one over here. I know absolutely nothing about her. I got a quick peek down below last year and I know she's a wooden boat and that I like her lines, but other than that, I know absolutely nothing. Anywho, now is not the time for boat shopping. I've got plenty of work to take care of here aboard Athena. Like I mentioned, in about half an hour, Camilla, Sebastian and possibly Thomas are gonna show up. And I think what we're gonna be doing is just doing a tiny bit of sanding here on the deck. I mentioned some of the positive things about using peel ply in one of my videos, but there is a tiny bit of a downside too. If you don't get the peel ply completely flat on the surface and you have little air bubbles like this tiny one here, that is gonna mean sanding. I doubt you'll be able to see it on camera, especially in this rotten lighting, which I am sorry about. But right here, yeah, there's a bit of a little dimple here. And that is going to need sanding. I'm back from the hardware store where I picked up some supplies for tomorrow. But, uh, I think, I think I hear something, quite possibly the sweetest sound in the world. It is of course the sound of sanding, but not only that, it is the sound of someone else sanding my boat. Ta-da, Camilla and Sebastian. morning guys it is early saturday morning we ended up doing quite a bit of sanding yesterday that 830 gram triaxial is a little bit more difficult to lay up perfectly 
after what seemed like an eternity of tidying up, cleaning and boring prep work, I think we're finally ready. The goal for today is to get down two strips of fiberglass here in the middle of the deck. Sure, that might not seem like a large area, but it's already 11 o'clock and yeah, laying up fiberglass is pretty time consuming. It's a few hours later now and the guys are all busy wetting out fiberglass up on deck. Meanwhile, Camilla is standing by down by our little epoxy mixing station, ready to bring up epoxy. We've already got peel ply on the first section up to just about that point there. Got all up. Yeah, they're fiend. Yeah, they're fiend now. They can be got there. Let's see when they lick us on it. And just like that, we have the next section of peel ply down. So that means this section of the deck is done, or at least done for today. There's still going to be a few more layers of fiberglass on here before it's truly done. Our approach this weekend is a little bit different. Last weekend, we just put down one layer of glass over the entire deck. And this weekend, we're putting down two layers on this middle strip here, like I mentioned. The way we're doing that is by having two rolls of fiberglass and then just moving forward. Here the guys are rolling out the bottom of the two layers of fiberglass. It is a little bit tricky around the hatch where the fabric kind of builds up a little bit, but uh, last weekend it worked out fine. Even though the fabric is quite heavy, 830 grams, any wrinkles can still kind of be worked out so that it's nice and flat. The reason we're only putting down two layers on that middle strip of the deck is because the subsequent layers of glass that's going to go on top of them are going to have a slightly different orientation. So two was the maximum amount we could put down today. In case it isn't completely obvious, let me just point out that all of us guys here today are just a bunch of home gamers. None of us have a lot of experience laying up glass, so don't just blindly go copying what you've seen here. The work we're doing here today is going to be perfectly fine and I have no doubt that in the end the deck is going to be bulletproof but there are slightly more clever ways of going about doing this if you've got the knowledge and the experience. That could be vacuum bagging or even infusing the deck but none of us have the experience or the knowledge needed to do that so that's why we're doing it the grunt way. We're way over halfway done with that middle strip and it's only two o'clock, so we're making good time today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys are lucky you don't understand Danish. At least you don't understand the amount of bullshit that's coming out of the mouth of these guys. <laughs> The reason there is uh, around six meters of 830 gram triaxial in a pile here is because I managed to do something very stupid. I had just trimmed the first piece of fabric out by the bow of the boat and then I took a few steps back and managed to fall down through the hatch breaking some of the support underneath the deck to my great embarrassment and to the amusement of the guys. Thank God I didn't get that embarrassing moment on video. At least it's not going to be out on the interwebs. Ta-da! And just like that, we are done for today. All in all, I am very happy and I think this turned out great, but we won't really know until tomorrow. Sadly, I've realized that I'm going to run out of epoxy before I'm done with the deck. So I need to get my hands on some more epoxy, which is not a big deal, except for the stupid lead time. I've purchased all of the epoxy I've used in the UK because it's roughly half the price of epoxy here in Denmark. The only downside is the lead time, which is around two weeks. To be more precise, when I say epoxy is twice as expensive here in Denmark, I'm talking about West System. For whatever reason, it is twice as expensive as in the UK. Because of the long lead time, I've ordered a sample from a German website, which delivers almost day to day. And uh, I should be able to use this stuff instead of 105 and 205 from West System. I've had a quick little chat with the manufacturer of this epoxy and it should be okay for me to use this epoxy 
on top of the laminate I've already laid up with 105 and 205. Just for peace of mind, I'm gonna use this test piece of laminate from last weekend to do a small test. My test is not gonna be super accurate. It's more for peace of mind than anything else. What I wanna check is how good of a secondary bond this stuff gets on top of the laminate I've already laid up. And apparently this stuff needs to be mixed one to four. So let's go ahead and give this a go. My first impression is that the viscosity is a little bit lower than the 105. Yeah, we've already cleaned all of the fin rollers and all of the tools, so this is gonna be a little bit messy. This is in no way an accurate test. More than anything, it's just a fun little experiment. But uh, we'll check back in with this tomorrow. And that is basically all I'm gonna get done today. In about an hour, I'm gonna meet up with all of my helpers from today and buy them some pizza. But uh, I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning. How do you like my ginormous lollipop? This might not be the healthiest lollipop in the world. This is my little test piece from yesterday to test that new epoxy. Like I mentioned, this is in no way an accurate test. It's just a fun little experiment, but it certainly seems like the secondary bond from that new epoxy is pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. So what do you guys think? Is it okay for me to switch to using the new epoxy on top of the new laminate or should I spend the obscene amount of money for West System here in Denmark and continue using that? The way I see it, I've got two options. I can either splurge and spend the obscene amount of money for West System here in Denmark or I can order the new epoxy from the German website. I just don't have time to wait around for two to three weeks for another shipment of West System to show up from the UK. And we're back inside the dimly lit and damp cave that is Athena's temporary home. I'm very grateful that there was room for me in here, but at the same time, I'm also very excited about moving into the uh, workshop. Let's head up and see how that laminate from yesterday turned out. Well, from up here, it looks pretty good. There are some little tiny bubbles, but yeah, overall, it looks pretty dang good. As for the plan for today, I'm not entirely sure what we'll be doing, but I think we're gonna lay up two layers of 830 grams on one of the two sides. The reason I'm not entirely sure is because someone managed to take a tumble through that forward hatch yesterday and wreck a pretty good amount of fiberglass. So I don't know if we've got enough fiberglass for today. The guys are just about to show up, so I better stop shooting video and figure out what the heck we're gonna be doing today. So uh, I'll be right back in a few hours. After hours and hours of prep work and a quick lunch, we are finally busy laying down new laminate. My plan for today was for us to lay up glass on one or possibly both of the sides of the uh, foredeck. Because I managed to wreck a pretty sizable chunk of fiberglass yesterday, the new plan is to finish both of the side decks. That means by the end of today, the deck from right about here and going aft will be done. I mean, we still have to do a bit of fairing and painting and all of that, but all of the glass will be laid up. I didn't get a lot of footage of us laying up glass on the side decks. We're simply just all too busy, but uh, the guys are just finishing up there now, and I think we're gonna be done within the next hour or so. But sadly, I need to start rendering this video within the next 20 minutes, and uh, that means I can't show you the finished side decks in this video, but uh, they'll be in next weekend's video. So yeah, I gotta say finishing up the side decks, pretty dang nice. 
And I think in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be done laying up glass on the entire deck, which is going to be, oh, Jesus, so nice. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. See you.